Hi guys, Robbery46 here, working myself back to MotoGP18 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue our career with Aprilia. And we've got a couple more races coming up. First one's going to be at Stats and Ring. Let's see how the ha Aprilia handles around there. Okay, well, the Aprilia is not feeling great around here, it has to be said. Considering that, I am still on pole position. But I just do not have the consistency that I had at uh, Assen. At uh, Assen, I just got into a rhythm and just nailed it. But here, it's a little bit more difficult. So we're going to see how we get on. Starting from pole position, off we go. It was an okay start. We've lost the lead as we're going to turn one. We've regained it. Are we going to keep it though? Let's see as they're trying to come through, but not quite. So we're staying in the lead for now. Yeah, the Aprilia doesn't feel that great around here. Um, especially coming off the back of a, a track where it felt absolutely awesome and perfect. Yeah, around here it doesn't feel so good. Which is a little bit odd because I thought that this was going to be one of the tracks where the lack of power wasn't really going to affect us too much. But, yeah, it's, it's just not handling too good. It's, it's understeering quite a bit, so... Yeah, two of them are through. Marquez and Davizioso. Davizioso around the outside of Marquez. They've both gone very wide. I went a bit wide as well. Down the waterfall. We've got a good run. We may be able to outbreak both of them into the Saxon curve. In we go. And we are back in the lead. Although Marquez has got other ideas. He's going to try and get the inside. He won't outbreak me into the final corner. We'll get a better run out the final corner anyway. See 10 laps around here. Short circuit. Lap 1 done. Marquez has gone into the lead as well. Oh, that wasn't too good. Going to go wide. Very wide. Davizioso is going to come through as well. So we're back down to third. Now we're going... Yeah, very wide. And we're back down to fifth. So yeah, not having a good time at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I, I was surprised I got on pole. Like I said, the, the bike just was not handling very well. It just kept on the steering and having a few issues with the rear as well. So, it may be a, uh, I don't know, just try and get what we can kind of race. Just salvage some sort of points. But if we can get a bit higher and actually get with the front guys again. Keep going wide there. I can battle with them, it'll be good, but I'm not holding my breath that I can win this race. It's uh, going to be a difficult one. Whoa, whoa, Vinales, he hit the outside barrier. He went on the grass and then hit the Armco barrier, but managed to stay on somehow. See, if the AI suffered suffered with uh, bike damage, he would uh, be suffering big time now. But uh, that is one of the weird things about this game. If you do um, like a quick start in qualifying or free practice when you go straight to the track onto a flying lap um, that section of the track is where the uh, the AI or the game is controlling you so um, yeah you just have to wait for it to give you control back but on that bit it weaves all over the place and when it gives you control back you're basically off track it's really annoying and a few times, like, as soon as it's given me control back, it's like, pretty much put me into the barrier and made me crash. So then I have to go back into the pit to repair the bike and then go back out. I'm really surprised they haven't sorted that out yet. It's, um, it's on a couple of tracks where when the game's um, controlling you on autopilot, it just can't control the bike very well. It just puts you over the place. Okay, well, I went on the green, so I slowed down then, so I didn't get past Marquez, but we are almost with him. Should be able to get a good drive out the final corner and hopefully get on terms with him. Maybe even get a better exit and get in front of him. Not quite. We're on the wrong side for turn one as well. Now we'll try and get up the inside out, breaking him. Are oh, we going to go wide? He snuck through. He is there. So we're back down to second. Oh, Vinales is there as well. He's trying to come through. I'm going to try and hold him off. Okay, well, we've held him off for second place at the moment. 
but yeah, Vinales is picking his pace up as I try and go underneath Marquez. It hasn't worked. Yeah, I've not got the consistency around here with the Aprilia. Wide, too wide. Vinales is through. So we've lost another place. He's gone very wide, though. Right, try and get him down the waterfall again. Not quite, but we will get him on the brakes. He stayed on track that time, didn't go into the barrier. I have no idea how the hell he stayed on after that. Oh, okay. Vinales is getting a bit aggressive. Need to get a hurry up because uh, Marquez is trying to pull away. He's got a little gap. And we've pulled away from Vinales a little bit as well. So we're on lap 5 of 10. We are closing in on Marquez on the brakes. We can do this. I have faith in this Aprilia. The trouble is my tyre, my rear tyre especially, is going to start wearing out pretty soon. And that is going to play havoc with my uh, my edge grip. And that's not good on this track when you're spending 95% of the time on the edge of the tyre. I'm just going to have to try and smooth it out a bit. Okay, we're gaining. I'm not going to get him through here, but we will set ourselves up nicely. For, uh, down the waterfall, try and get a good run. We've got it. We're on the wrong side for the next corner. He's going to sweep over to the left, the right, even. And we are in the lead again. Spun up the rear a bit there on the curb. A bit wide as well. Marquez is there, but we are squaring the corner off and getting a better exit. So at the moment, we are back in the lead on to lap six. Gone wide again. Oh, Marquez almost came through. I thought he was going to barge me out of the way then, but he didn't. Gone wide. He's through now. I'm going to try and hold the inside line. We've held it for now. Oh, gone a bit wide. He's going to come through now because I've gone way too wide. If you don't come through now, yeah, there he is. Big wheelie. So Vinales, who's in third still, he is really close. So we can't afford to dilly-dally too much. Otherwise we're going to end up down in third. Yeah, we're gaining quite a bit here. We'll be able to outbreak him again. We're back into the lead. Gone a bit wide on the exit and he's back through. Marquez is putting up a fight here at Satsum Ring. As we go underneath him into the final corner. Not a good exit. That Honda is going to be quicker. There it goes. Trying to outbreak him into turn one again. That has worked. Or has it? No, it hasn't. Marquez is up the inside again. He will not yield. We've got a serious fight on our hands with Marquez this time. Try and uh, get in front of him and pull away, but that's not happening at the moment. Try and get the inside through here. Not quite. Vinales is still there. Vinales is going to come past. Now there he goes. I completely balls those corners up. So we're back down the third. Could be having some serious issues here. That's a dangerous place to go up the inside. Clip the inside curb as I found out on my first season in the GP category. And you will go down. Down the waterfall. I'm losing some rear grip now. These last few laps are going to be very, very difficult. That rear is spinning up. Gonna have to go careful coming out of corners, especially this one. And get it stood up as quick as possible just to make sure we don't high side ourselves. Okay, well, we actually got the drive there and we are back in the lead. 
Marquez won't outbreak us into turn one. But will he get underneath? No, he wasn't close enough. Well, if Vinales and Marquez have a battle, that will allow me to escape. I think I'm going to have to try and push now, just to see if I can pull away on these last few laps. Oh, the rear. The rear is not liking it, but I'm going to try. Force it to fit. Well, we're not really pulling away at the moment. But on the other hand, he has not repassed me for quite a few corners now. Down the hill we go. We're pulling away now though, because we usually get a better drive than him anyway. I think we've broken him. I think we have broken Marquez. Coming round to start the penultimate lap. Yeah, we've broken him. We have pulled away from Marquez. Two laps left to go. And we are on our way for another 25 points. And then we've got a very difficult race coming up at Bruno. Not entirely sure how the Aprilia is going to feel around there. We'll have to wait and see. But that's always a, a track in this game anyway that I don't look forward to anymore. I usually love the, the Bruno circuit, but on this game it just... I, th I think the, the AI are a slight higher standard than all the other tracks. Same with Mazzano. They seem to be quite a bit quicker than normal, so it makes it very, very difficult to beat them. But I'll do my best. I'll see what kind of lap times I can do on the Aprilia, see if we're competitive, and if we can be consistent as well. Consistency is going to be key. We are pulling away from Marquez even more. We're coming out the final corner for the penultimate time. Have to go careful with that rear. We have got one more lap to go. We've got a nice buffer over Marquez. And we are looking at another win aboard the Aprilia. Just got to get round one more lap. The rear is really gone. So I think. That, uh, well, I hope that our gap over Marquez is big enough because I think we're going to be losing a bit of time on this lap. So I cannot put the uh, the throttle on as early as I want to. Or as much as I want to either. Otherwise it's just going to spin and kick out. That was a weird line, Robbo. What are you doing? Mom, we can do this. This has been a crap lap, has to be said. Yeah, we've done enough though. As long as they don't high side out the final corner, otherwise I will not be happy if I do that. Always remember Marquez in 125's high siding out of there on the last lap, last corner aboard the uh, Red Bull KTM. But there we go, we have done it aboard the Aprilia. Another win, another 25 points added to our championship. Yeah, that, that wasn't an easy race by any means. Before we go to see the party at the podium, so there we go, only one by 1.2 seconds. And we were only about three tenths quicker. On a, That was on our fastest lap. Neither of our teammates were in the top 15 again. There we go. A nice lead over Marquez at the moment. Nice lead over Honda. But yeah. 32 points behind Yamaha in the uh, team championship. But today, these riders have shown that they had a little bit extra in the locker. The crowd is going wild. And finally, next race is going to be very, very interesting.
Okay, right. Let's do some bike development. We've got quite a bit to uh, to play with. Although, now we haven't. <laughs> we had enough for one. Um, yeah, we're not going to have enough to do anything else because the rest is 14,000. Right, let's go to Bruno. Okay, wow. Really struggling again here. I know I said that at Satsum, we managed to come out with a win. But yeah, the Aprilia again, not feeling that great around here. Although it probably feels a little bit better than uh, previous bikes I've used around here. I mean, you see how close I was uh, getting on pole. Five hundredths of a second I got pole by. So that is how close it is. Uh, it's going to be a difficult race. It's going to be a close race. So let's hope we can get to the end. Here we go. Renault Aprilia. Let's do this. Davizioso through straight away. Marquez trying to go around the outside. I'm going to go wide, but I'd like to cut back in. But I might not be able to do that because i got Vinales in the way. That has not worked as I wanted it to. Trucci's through as well. So we've gone from first to fifth in a couple of corners. Oh, hello. They're all piling up behind me now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a really difficult race. We are back down to eight. So we've got a real fight on our hands this time. This is only lap one of seven as well. And they're all over the back of me. Pedroza trying to come through. Pedroza has come through. I'm getting back. Nope, not on that curb. The inside he's left a gap. Okay. Well, we, we can at, at least fight with Pedroza. Yeah, eighth place at the moment. Are we going to see an end to our 100% record inside the top two through this season? Maybe if we get Lorenzo here. Maybe not. Yeah, I've got a horrible feeling that record is going to go. I'm going to try and just see what I can do. If I can hang on to these guys, then it won't be so bad. We may be able to make a couple of cheeky overtakes as Lorenzo looks to try and get in the inside of Miller. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's through. So Miller has dropped down to seventh now. So we are behind Miller as we go into turn one. Miller's gone for the tighter line. All right, let's try and get a good exit. Yeah, we're not quite getting the launch out of the uh, that corner that we did with the Honda. Still in 8th place. But we are right on Miller now. Right on Miller and Lorenzo. Miller's looking like he's going to get the inside of Lorenzo. He's sneaking through on the inside curve. That's a bit dangerous. Lorenzo not having it though. Lorenzo is going to be on the inside for the hairpin. So Lorenzo staying where he is. Can I sneak through on Miller? Not quite close enough at the moment. Right, I'll try and cut back on the next right-hander and try and get a better drive than Miller if I can. He's gone very wide as well. So we're going to sneak through. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're up to seventh. So we are able to go with these guys and we are able to have a little fight with them. Now we're on the back of Petrucci. You see Lorenzo's making uh, some places up as well. So he's in front of both Pramac Ducatis. And we are on the back of the second... Uh, Primark Ducati. We've already disposed of one. We've got a better run than Petrucci. He's going to have a look at Lorenzo though. No, he's not. Not close enough. Maybe in the final corner is he going to have a look? No. Okay, Lorenzo got a pretty decent exit as well. Up the inside into turn one of Petrucci. We are on the inside. That is good. Come on, there we go. Right, we've got Petrucci. We've got both Primate Cats. We've got Lorenzo as well. We are up to fifth place. 
I was not expecting to be able to do this. Especially after they all came past Lorenzo's back through though. Can I hold it on the inside? I'm just there. Okay, Rossi is up next. Providing Lorenzo doesn't dive bomb me anymore, we may be able to catch up to Rossi. Looks like Vinales is in the lead, and then you've got Davizioso and Marquez over the back of Davizioso. Then Rossi, then me. We're on lap three already. This is going pretty quick, which is good. Really having to try here. It is not easy at all, but we're all over the back of Rossi at the moment. Can I outbreak him? No, wrong side of him anyway. Gone a bit wide, Rossi's gone a bit wide. Ooh, that's not a good place to try and get up the inside of someone because it's so easy to lose the front. Maybe get a better exit up the hill. Yes, we have, but he's on the inside for the penultimate corner. He's going to have it. He's going to have it. There he goes. Maybe sneak through. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Okay, fourth place. A bit of a gap to Marquez and Davizioso. And Vinales has got a little gap over both of them. So into turn one. Marquez is through on Davizioso at the moment. Davizioso looking to try and get a better exit. That Ducati is quick. Davizioso at the inside. Oh, Rossi's there as well. So, Marquez is in our target at the moment. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be able to claw my way back to fourth place at the moment. I'm actually uh, gaining on Marquez. This is, I, yeah, this is a surprise. Usually when I drop down to about eight, I struggle to stay even there and usually just keep dropping back. But we're able to go with them. Not only that, we're able to fight. Maybe we're able to get Davizioso into the next corner and maybe even Marquez up the inside we've got both of them or have we no we haven't ok we've only got Davizioso oh up the inside of Marquez now though so we are up to second place and we're gonna oh for fuck really thanks wow oh fuck's sake thanks Marquez just completely ruined my race Oh, right, well, fuck's sake, we're outside the points now. 17th place. There's uh, Red in my teammate. Got bike damage. So that's not going to help either, is it? Marquez, you absolute bastard. Well, I'm definitely not happy with that. I may even struggle to get in the points here because of the bike damage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up the crutch low. Gone wide as well. The bike is not feeling good now. Marquez just went for a gap that wasn't there just as I was changing direction. He decided he, he was going to try and shove up the inside and it didn't work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The uh, rear tyre's not feeling good either. We are in trouble here. We're definitely not going to finish in the top two in this race. We could have done. But Mike has had to be an absolute bell end. I. I just can't see me catching crutch low. Fuck's sake, yeah, no, that's me done for this race. 
I'm going to pull into the pit and retire. There is no way I'm going to be able to get to uh, the points now. With no one behind. I'm just going to go into the pit, retire. My first retire of the season. And of course, it had to be at Bruno. So into the pit we go. That, unfortunately, is my race done. I know my guy won't actually go into the pit, he'll just do a ride through, but um, we'll just retire. Pause it and retire. So there we go. Not a good ending to Bruno. It's going really well as well. Marquez still got fucking fourth place as well somehow. How? He's only 3.2 seconds behind. <sighs> yeah. Noah Pretty is in the points whatsoever. So that's completely blown our small chance of the team championship anyway. So, riders, we are still in the lead, but only by 51 points now from Davizioso. Our lead has been cut in the Constructors title, and yeah, we've dropped down to third now. Fourth, even. We've lost a few positions. Lost two places, down a fourth. Yeah, not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Well, last time Marquez took me out, I eventually got my revenge, so I will again. The thing is, we've got a big point lead at the moment, so it's fine. It's no biggie, as long as that doesn't happen again. But anyway, Red Bull Rookies Cup, Philip Salak's leading that from Canon Chu second, Yamanaka in third, Dennis on Chu fourth, and Yuki Kuni in fifth. Moto3, okay, well, Martin and Bezeki are still joint on points and joint in the lead. Bastianini is in third, Canet in fourth, and Digi Antonio in fifth. Moto2, Alex Marquez has still won every single race so far. He's got a huge lead over Bagnaia in second, Oliveira third, and Baldessari in fourth. And I've still got a nice lead over Davizioso in second, Vinales third, and Marquez in fourth. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.